So we're just visiting Stonehenge here with our guest wow. Michael Tellinger all the way over from South Africa and also JJ Ainsworth is with us and we're just going to have a close look at some of the stones here we're also going to look at the three post holes which are at least 10,000 years old and really put some more context on this of how, how old this site really is because Michael's got some ideas that it's much much older than so-called 2500 or 3000 BC this might just be another example of natural erosion or glaciation glaciers and 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 the, the younger Dryas but possibly that formed this but we'll get a closer look at it When I was here 2010, nine years ago, uh, the first thing that struck me was the extreme erosion on the stones. Now, I work with stones all the time in the ruins of South Africa, for those that know my work, and um, it just blew my mind to see the extreme erosion on these stones. And that immediately tells me that this is a lot older than people claim it is. Much, much older. In fact, insanely much, much older. And. Um, I'm going to point out a few things. Uh, if you take a look at the erosion on the stones that were supposed to have been carved out and brought here and put into place. Now either somebody's got something wrong, either the, the stones were not carved, they were just picked up as existing stones with existing erosion on them, or if they were carved out and brought here, um, supposedly beautifully squared off, then we have a big problem here with the dating of Stonehenge. Uh, specifically, one of the tall stones, I'm going to take you around the corner here and share that with you. The tall stone that used to stand up there and be coupled to the other, its other twin. One of them has fallen over and broke. And uh, I've asked several experts that, uh, can, that do uh, tell me that that is the stone that fell over and broke. If that is the case and that stone, stone fell over and broke, the erosion on that break completely and utterly precludes us from being a few thousand years old. This is going to be way more than a million years old. Otherwise, the geology does not match. And uh, we have a big problem here. So come and have a look at this break and the erosion on this big stone that fell over. But that's the tall stone that I'm referring to over there, standing up. And next to it was its twin that stood up next to it and they were supposed to be connected at the top with the lintel and uh, the, the one just uh, further to the standing stone with a little nipple on top there okay. that has fallen over and broke now if we just come a little bit further look at the erosion on the break all right look at the erosion on the break of that stone i hope you see what i'm referring to that's supposed to be the break i'm sorry that is not a break that happened a few thousand years ago. That is something that has got extreme erosion on it, on the edges, and that tells us that this is probably a few hundred thousand years, possibly millions of years old. So whoever has been telling us this is a few thousand years old is either on drugs or they don't know what they're talking about. There's the evidence. The geology doesn't lie. Our historians will lie to us all the time. trying to get some details of the extreme weathering on some of the stones which suggests they could be much much older now this is interesting because if they are older than thought then this would might match with the wooden post holes which have been just outside found just outside the site which date to 10,000 years old at least and which is almost contemporary with the ending phase of Gebekli Tepe in southeast Turkey and could suggest that that this the stones themselves are much older and were placed here much earlier than previously thought Just behind us here, we have the three wooden post holes, which date to 10,000 years or 8,000 BC. And these are bizarre, these are made of pine, these are about this wide, about at least three feet wide, and no one really knows their true purpose or why they marked this particular spot that long ago. But let's go and take a look anyway. So I'm literally standing on the middle of the three post holes here at Stonehenge. It's just next to the site, just on the slope going down. 
uh, slightly north of the site and they are more or less east-west. They're made of pine, they're about three feet wide and they would have stood extremely tall and probably were the first astronomical markers of this site and also marked 10,000 years ago where the future Stonehenge was going to be built. Why they were placed here, no one knows. No one has any understanding of their true purpose. But we can only speculate that they were here for a reason and that reason was probably to mark this as a sacred spot that was revered even long before 10,000 years ago by the ancient people of this area.